Hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld and of course to the town of Medusa's Raft where unfortunately Mahoney is walking around in days and our final straw was slept in the cold also one of our batteries broke down but that has been repaired and we have some visitors which is a lovely now Mahoney whilst uh, wandering around in the days just before they left whispered in my ear just a single name and I'm fairly certain that name is their secret name and their name is a Moriarty welcome to the colony doctor also you happen to be Sleepy Joe's father Ah, uh, that's that's an awkward one, really, considering you're 16 and Sleepy Joe is 38. I mean, you're only well. I mean, looking looking at the the cryo sleep. Yeah, I guess I guess it is possible. You're 17 years old. Uh, it's it's awkward, but uh, it's interesting also. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this episode, we do still need to finish off the little area over there. Additionally, honestly, we, we kind of need to start storing our steel elsewhere because it's taking up so much room in there that we uh, we do need that to be somewhere else. However, where to put it is the question that I am struggling with. Uh, what do we have under the floor here? We have rough paving. Um... We could do something similar over here, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. So, more floors, rough stone paving. Let's grab that, and we'll actually have this little area right here set aside for steel, and only steel. Uh, only steel will go there. Uh, additionally, I wouldn't mind getting uh, a wee lamp outside. Maybe just something something there, just to, to light the way in the darkness. It'll be lovely. Uh, how's everyone doing? We're cooking things. It's going well. How how are you? Oh, damn it, Balthazar! You scallywag that you are. Now, how far are we towards the next soil? No point in us putting down super soil when we're almost at mega soil. The thing with the soils is, from what I understand of the mod, they add ridiculous levels of growth. Absolutely bonkers levels of growth. So, we, we're we not going to worry about increasing our grow zones yet. Not yet. Wow, really? Is that... What have I put there? Whatever I put there, I don't know. But, this will be... Actually, let me delete that first and just make sure that everything is okay. Stockpile. Okay, we must have had something else there before. Right, this is only going to be storing... Uh, let's see, raw resources. I only want steel s stored in here. So it's just purely a single building resource. And that should be okay. We'll make it a priority preferred. And over here, we are going to take steel off this. There we go. So hopefully, by having this specifically set up for steel, we're going to start making room for all of the chunks to be hauled out there. Additionally, how are we doing for power? We're actually doing well enough that we don't need to turn off our guns right now. Ah, but are these running? No, these are not running right now. So, yeah, we don't need to turn off our guns. In fact, we're going to turn this one on just in case, you know? Just in case. Alright, how's everything else going? We're doing reasonably well, I would say. We can... If we want to, and there's definitely a part of me that does want to set up a field of hay grass out here. So, sure, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a growing zone, and it's just going to be outside. It's going to be a big old growing zone just out here, purely for hay grass. In fact, we could make it the whole area out here. Um, sure, let's let's make it the whole area out there, uh, purely for hay grass, and we could then maybe have a wall running down along the side of it. So something like that, and then this gets set to hay grass. There we go. We're not going to do anything else for it. Just hay grass gets gets planted out there. Um, given the the shape of that area, then we'll go ahead and we'll add in some slate walls just to make this look intentional. Something like this, and uh, bring it out across here like so. so. We've got a nice double thick wall. Uh, the, later on, we may we may put a door here. I actually don't, don't think we will, but, you know, it's possible. 
It's possible that we could do that. I'm not going to put down any special soil out there, though. That's that's a no on that one. Got plenty of meals still, which is good. Uh, guests are chilling out, which is also good. Uh, all right, okay. So in this room is where we're going to start putting a few more items. But first and indeed foremost, we need to build out some more of these walls. What well, colonist is idle? Oh, do you drop? You got nothing to do? You know what? That's actually not a bad thing. But let me just check on what you do. Uh, do you drop? Ah, uh, it's because you don't haul and don't clean. When someone doesn't haul or clean, it's not actually that bad if they have nothing to do. Honestly, it's just one of those things that's going to happen. Uh, but you do have something to do now, so it's just as well. We're getting plenty of meds stored, so I'm super happy about that as well. The go juice. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure about that one, I'll be honest with you. Starvation. Moriarty is starving. It's because he's stupid. Moriarty is just wandering around in the days. And is not eating. Stupid Moriarty. That's all I have to say. Very dumb. Supendously dumb. Uh, perhaps what I should do is... You know what? It's probably high time that we send out a death squad to go and get us some... Uh, yeah, Veronica and Dark Havoc, you're going out as well. I want our melee death squad. Because I'm going to need you to just go and slay all of the things. Ambelina, you are not equipped for anything. Ghostwoods, sure, you can go out, but just, just keep an eye on Dark Ava, because accidents happen, is all I'm going to say. Especially around Dark Ava. Uh, right, I would not mind getting another melee weapon, but it doesn't appear that we actually have one. Oh, we've got some down here, actually, never mind. Uh, what have we got? We've got a Plasteel Spear. Ooh, that's a superior Plasteel Spear. Ooh. Um... Veronica, I think, has got a much better melee skill. Yeah, Veronica, go and get that superior plastic spear, please. My goodness. Uh, we've also got a plastic gladius. What does Veronica currently have? I think it's just a a poor plastic spear. So actually, yeah, at this point, Ambelina, go grab yourself a normal plastic gladius, please. There you go. And then you can head out as well. There we are. We're going to go around. We're going to wipe out a lot of the wildlife on the map. So that we've got plenty of food for our humans. This is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm not too concerned about uh, our food stocks for people. is because we can just go out and kill things. And uh, when you kill animals, you get quite a lot of food from that. That humans can eat. Uh, Muffalo won't. Which is a bit of a problem. You know what? Release. Release Yoko. Yoko, you can now join in. That's right, Yoko. Get involved. Uh, you can go for the turkey. Dark Havoc, is there anything else alive out here that you want to slay? Sure, I'll go for that one. Yoko's going to help. Uh, have we got anyone else coming up here? Yep, Ambelina and Veronica. Uh, what have we got? Is there anything else around? Wow, Ghostwoods, you... Ghostwoods, you're so bad. Why? Why are you so bad? Uh, it might be that Ghostwoods doesn't have a good enough weapon. I'll, I'll give you a, a pass just out of sympathy right now. But you do suck. Right, okay, so let's make all of these allowed. Yoink. And I'll leave it to others to bring all of that in. We are getting all of the hay grass grown. Oh, actually, 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 Dark Havoc, go and slay the Toyotais. Uh, it is a, a beastie uh, enemy, so you might want to think. I'm going to send you back, Ghostwiss. <laughs> oh, my lord. Have you slain it yet, Dark Havoc? Oh, Dark Havoc got bit. Oh, actually got a really bad bite on his little toe as well. Those tortoises, man. Nasty. Uh, but you're only losing 32. <laughs> you're losing 32% of your blood through a bite on the toe? My god, those tortoises. They are they are no joke, apparently. No joke at all. Uh, let's see. We've got plenty of animals down here, so let's send you down there. And Dark Alec is not actually moving that slowly for someone who's, you know, almost lost a toe. I'm impressed. Very impressed. There we go. All of this is practically ready now uh, I was going to have uh, people carry the the dead animals back but no it's okay right dark ava go for the turkey Veronica go for the squirrel Ambelina go for the ibix dark ava go for this ibix Veronica go for this ibix we will spread out the work as much as we can to get as much of it done as we can uh, there we go Yoko's miles behind unfortunately Okay, we can go and help. Uh, yeah, go and take out the Ibix there. And what else 
Wild and Veronicorn. In fact, Veronicorn, why don't you take that one back? Amberlina, could you please kill the Apex? There we go. Fantastic. Right, Dark Abac, before you head back and get healed, please carry the Apex Doe. And Amberlina, do you haul? You will not haul, so you can just go back. It's fine. Okay, well, that's, that's good enough for now. Uh, we need to make sure that everything is allowed, of course. As I said, because people can eat meat, we are never really behind on food that much in this colony because of where we live. There's so much food around. Like, if we go south down here, there's always a couple of things. Oh, well, that being said, it's actually not that many things. Oh, no, there we are. We can actually see the uh, the Zs now rising up towards the heavens. It's fine. Major break wrist for Veronicorn. Why is that, Veronicorn? Um, yeah, you got, you got a couple of bruises, so you're very unhappy. That's a little bit silly, but okay. Uh, Dark Avak will be going to get his foot sorted out in a moment. And Veronicorn, I guess, as well, can go and... No, Veronicorn, go and rest until healed there. Dark Avak is going to get the better one because he's losing more blood. Uh, in fact, you're losing no blood. You can just rest until healed in that spot for a long time. Uh, you've already been sorted out. Dark Avak should be on his way, I imagine, to... No? No, you're going to go and rest until healed in that room, actually. Later on, I will replace these with medical beds. They just won't get the, the full treatment of the, the lovely room with the plasteel furniture and the TV and all of that. There you go. Right, Balthazar, if I could get you, please, to go and prioritize treating Dark Amok, that would be grand. Please and thank you. Okay, alright, so Ghostwood's okay. Moriarty, I'm really quite worried about you. <laughs> I've just named you and you're going to die from starvation because you're too stupid to go and eat. Damn it, Moriarty, you're not living up to your name. Not at all. But there we go. Loneliness. Oh, good, good old loneliness. Well done, you. Well done. And then Larry down there. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to pass comment on... on <laughs> asking him Larry. You know what? That's actually appropriate in some ways. I, I like it. it. It's a confident name. Right. Let's get a... Slate wall just over there. There we go. And just to make this look like it's intentional, we'll drop down some paved tiles. Now, there we go. The immediate stuff that we need to do, out of the way, we got a chance to talk for a moment. By the time that this video goes live, I'm probably not going to be in my house anymore. I'm going to be scheduling these for the next couple of days, possibly a week ahead of time. Um, maybe more than that if I get the chance. Unfortunately, I've got to go to uh, a hospital in England for some stuff. And I'm going to be gone for a little while. And then when I get back, it's going to take a little while before I probably feel up to recording. Oh, that's fantastic luggage. Thank you very much. Dark, Dark Outback needs needs the uh, non-fancy noms for healing. He needs the raw fancy noms for, for healing. Yes, the, the, the raw long pork. But yes, I'm going to be away for a little while. So uh, uploads will be scheduled where I, I'm able to. Hopefully, I'll have enough to not really drop my upload schedule much. But there probably will be some days where there's just one video goes up instead of two. So on and so forth. And maybe the um, the variation in videos will decline a little bit because I'm going to try and bulk record as much as I can. And certain series is just that much easier for me to record. So overall, you may find that uh, for the next week or so, then th things will be a little bit off in terms of my upload schedule. I hope you can I hope you can understand though. Um, right, we've got, <laughs> I keep thinking that steel. It's just it's just fertilizer. It's so rubbish. Don't want it. We need to get rid of this fertilizer. Uh, well, um, we could expand out of gas. I guess we could. Do we have everything we need? We do, apparently. I don't approve, though. I think we need more stuff. We're making t-shirts, I think. Uh, overalls, fatigues, uh, construction jackets. Let's go ahead and make a fur coat or two. Just because. Do until you have two of them. We don't need more than that. There we go. In fact, let's make everything up until three. That way, some of the Deadman's stuff is not going to get in the way. Eventually, if you can take it up to five, you know you're going to have something that's that's useful there at that point. All right, hopefully we can get some meals going. Because we're, we're down to 11 simple meals, which is frankly not amazing. Not amazing at all. 
Alright, how are we doing for research? We are so almost there, and at that point we're just going to upgrade a lot of the, these fields to have the uh, super crops. We no longer need this field to be... Oh, come on. I just want this one, specifically. This field. There we go. <laughs> My lord, why are we so hard to do? Uh, we'll go with um, rice plants, I think. In there. There we go. Getting this place sorted out. Miss Minnie, can you hold that for me? Just out of the way, basically. And now hold this one. Again, just out of the way. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and build this wall over there, and we should be good. Fantastic, says I. Uh, we've already got power running all the way around. That is good. Okay. Now in here, this is going to be like a dormitory. So, you know what? I might even leave those doors where they are. Um, just so that uh, people can get a bit of shut-eye in here. But we are going to need gas beds. And, yeah, they'll be made out of wood as well. Um, we'll move them up a little bit from, well, I don't know. We could have quite a few. Hmm. Maybe we should actually just remove this wall. But then replace it with, why did I do it this way? Replace it with an, an actual wall and just have uh, loads of beds across this room. I actually think that idea might be nice. quite nice. I think that idea might be quite, quite nice. Um, hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's get the structure going. So one there, one there. Because I did that all the way I did, <laughs> it's going to take them longer to get that mined out than normal, but oh well. See, the only problem with this is that eventually we're going to have issues. Eventually there's going to be a bunch of people sleeping in here, and there's going to be an insect infestation, and so many people are going to die, and so many people are going to be blamed for it that, that I feel it'll be unfair to blame. Like us, basically. I feel it'll be unfair to blame us, specifically. Uh, right, okay, well, let's have a look. What have we got down here? Scyther blades. We have got another scyther blade that is very heavily damaged, but eventually might be useful. A bionic arm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Dark Avak. I think a bionic arm would be good for you. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologize. I came out of nowhere. But yes, we're going to be putting in a bionic arm on your left shoulder. We're going to give you a bionic left arm. Right, go, rest until healed. Balthazar, going to need you on top of this, please and thank you. Have you? Are you allowed to have the best uh, health? Yes, you are. Good. I have to check for a moment, because the last time we had a, a surgery... Dark Havoc did not get the, the best meds. I was a little bit surprised, but it was probably that we just didn't have the best meds at the time. Okay, so our animals are wandering. They're now able to eat outdoors, which is great. And we're also bringing in a fair old bit of uh, animals as well. A fair old bit of food. We've got a lot in there, but no, none of them have been uh, taken out right now. Moriarty? Moriarty, are you okay? Are you... Why? Why, Moriarty? Mori Go and eat. You silly boy. My goodness, this is crazy, craziness. If, if he has another break before he can eat, Moriarty may not actually make it. I, I'm going to call that now. If that happens, Moriarty is, is actually in deep, deep trouble. We'll see how this goes, though. There we go. Grab your meal, sit down, nom, and hopefully your malnutrition will go away. And so will your terrible mood. There we are. Catharsis. Felt so good to finally unbottle my feelings. Extremely impressive dining room. Pleasant environment. Moderate expectations. Spectacular interior. Eight cooked insect meal. Super not happy about that one. Super not happy about that one. But, you know, this is life. Come on now, Balthazar. Come on, I, I believe in you. Have you restored... You have restored yourself. You gave Dark Havoc a bionic arm. We forget about the, the blunder with the bionic bear. Your reputation has been restored as best surgeon in this colony. Well done, Balthazar. We're all very proud of you. Uh, right, how much? Uh, we've still got loads of plastic. Okay. Uh, right. Next up, let's actually have a look at some of our colonists. Who needs something? You've got an old gunshot room in your right arm. That might be worth getting fixed because Balthazar would uh, benefit from the manipulation boost. Oh, that's great. 140% manipulation now for Dark Havoc. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah, let's let's start looking at uh, Bionicifying our medic. 
I think that couldn't possibly go wrong. We'll get two bionic arms. And... Um, bionic spine as well. It's going to be grand. Grand, I tell you. Uh, Jared Dan, I really would like it if you would go and do more research, but I guess he's just going to take your time with that one. Oh, well. Uh, we'll let this place get sorted out. Dark Havoc is hopefully going to continue just regularly healing. Yeah, Dark Havoc has fully healed now. That is glorious. We're also... Oh, Balthazar's making his own, own arm. It makes sense, I guess. You know, you wouldn't want to trust anyone else to make your own arm. Um, or rather, your arm. I, I would, wouldn't want to, at the very least. Ah, wait, 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 wait. If we have these doors there, I just realized why that's not going to be uh, a good solution. Unfortunately, if we have these doors there, it will not classify this as all the same room. So we do need to get rid of them. There's a little bit of sadness in for that, but oh well. Uh, we've got plenty of food, hopefully. Uh, let's keep the food going. Uh, you know what? This really should not be for meals. It, it really, really should not. Please, yeah, ugh, so frustrating. Maybe I should just put in a second refrigerator just for meals. You know what? It's high time. Yes, okay. We'll pop, pop in a second refrigerator just for meals, and it'll go there, and it'll actually be built to store the meals. It'll be silly, but oh well. Um, either that or I could have the second one set to store um, meat or something. Ah, you know what? Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should clear this. Um, we will have raw food, meat, any sort, I guess. Uh, no, human meat stays out. So does it, uh, insect meat. That can stay away. Right, so we've got this one. What is that set to? It's pr priority critical. Okay, well, uh, this one will have the same then. Let us get all of this sorted so that we can grow our food super duper fast, hopefully. Um, Jared Dan's off to have some food. Wow, really? You've already finished the new prosthetic spine? My lord. Balthazar's- <gasps> No! Balthazar's trying to make it back. Dark Havoc, Dark Havoc, you need to be on the ball right now. Move. Dark Havoc, move up here right now. Go. Go, 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 go. Balthazar needs to be rescued. Our doctor is about to die. Went to the wrong bed, but fine. Right, but Dark Havoc. Treat Balthazar right now. Move quickly. I love he had a heart attack in, in his pain. He's like, wait, I recognize these sites. Oh, I've got to get to the, the hospital quickly. It'll save time. They won't have to carry me. I might survive. It'll increase my chances just a little bit. Oh, my Lord. He's probably thanking his lucky stars that he passed Dark Havoc on the way. Um, treatment success. 65% chance. Are you still treating? Come on. Oh, treatment failed. 23% chance, but it's okay. It's okay. Balthazar is, is saved. I, I think you succeeded the first time. And he's like, this stupid heart. I'm getting back to bionics right away. Maybe I can make myself a bionic heart. Then I won't have to have these problems. My lord. That worked out well for us. But I think on that uh, rather harrowing note, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me in the next episode as ever. We are going to be expanding a little bit more. Moriarty. Does Moriarty even have a room? You know what? I don't think Moriarty does. I don't believe Moriarty has a room. That uh, is a bit of a problem, actually. Okay, well, I think maybe we will extend this corridor out and put another bedroom around about here for Moriarty. Yeah, I think that, that makes a lot of sense. We can perhaps, perhaps it'll even be a gigantic room because then we can line it up with this over there and we can have another entryway in here. The unfortunate part about that is if I put it over here, then there's a slim chance the Moriarty's room will be the new insect infestation location. Um, that also sounded kind of cool. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll consider that in the next episode, but that is it from me. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you are enjoying the series, and I hope you will be patient with me over the next couple of days where uploads are going to be a little bit wonky, but that is it. So as ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.